First thing I got to deal with this morning, all that frost, alcohol and water. Watch it. Just like that, it's gone. We have another uh, low 20 degree day again this morning. Already got loader cranked up here. We'll get started loading some trucks. Derek's about to cut that last tree down there. The thing drops all so deep right there, you can't even see the cutter at all. You can just see the tree moving. But you can see what all we've cut so far here, right here. gone you can see that other cut that we cut uh 2014 2015 that winter oh right over there all the little pines on it so Derek's got that cut he's gonna hit this over here and cut this uh this strip over here be the next target area well that's good too uh Ground's doing well for us right now, even with it as uh, wet as it is. got a drag behind that thing too what you talking about there's a couple more trees right there I guess he's going after he's fixing to grab them too or try to yeah that's what he's doing and he's gonna come this is an old road bed right here he's gonna be coming up it That's a old logging road that they probably had years and years ago when they logged this before. And they pushed it out right there. We'll take, when we're done with it right here, they'll take all this, he's already got brush piled down and on both sides of it. See that pile right there? And he'll take it and just flip it right over in, the, in it to keep it from washing. He dropped one. Right there. 
so you can push himself. If y'all can see it or not, see all the buds in the pine needles right there starting to bud out already. Right up on that mat up there. Those trees have all got buds all up in them. Boy, the pollen is the pollen is here, fixing to be here really bad. One really cool deal about a tiger cat that I really liked the first time I ever run one is the fact that uh, when you work anything on the machine, it runs the engine at full throttle. And so, like on a, in that situation when he was pushing himself, Right there. When he when he lets off the accelerator to pull the drag up to him, the machine locks down just like you're sitting there holding the brake, but it's still at full throttle, wide open, where you got all that power. Like on the older John Deere's, the way that they worked was is you would have to clutch it and hold the clutch in and then hold the brake and then you'd have to heal the brake with your heel hold it and then take your toe and hold the throttle wide open to be able to pick up on it is what you had to do so that one there when you when you pick up on it you let off the throttle it locks down and you pick up on it it goes to full full throttle and then when you go to mash the accelerator to push yourself, then it automatically unlocks, so you never have to hit the, you know, hit the brake or anything like that. It's a lot more user friendly, a lot more. So say he's starting down there, he's gonna start brushing down there at that end when he come when he's got. I think he's got one more drag down there. Derek's still down there in that hole right there, probably trying to move some trees around for him or something. I bet, but. We're in my shop now. Y'all know that watch me got this uh, Milwaukee cutoff tool right here. It takes three inch uh, wheels is what it takes. It's a um, it's a very neat handy little tool. They didn't send me this when I bought it. I wanted it and bought it. What I really like is is being able to put this on there and turn it into basically a skill saw. All right. So what what I'm gonna show y'all what I want to talk about here right quick is the milwaukee wheels are uh, they're quite expensive and these are 0.045 thickness is what they are so i got to looking on uh, amazon and this is what i got i could get two thicknesses of wheels one of them was a was a 16th of an inch which is uh 0.062 or you could get a 32nd of an inch right there. So I got the 32nd is what I got. And there's a pack of 25 of them for $16. I'll link them down below where y'all can find them. But I looked I, I looked at the reviews. I wanted a thinner curve cut is what I wanted. So that's the reason why I sprung for the uh, 32nd right there. Uh, I looked at the reviews because I wasn't sure. I thought maybe these would probably burn through them pretty quick. But... Uh, the review said surprisingly that uh, the people who had them said they they did really good. 
So that's a that's a good thing. But uh, like I said, these were uh, sixteen bucks for the twenty five of them for the thirty uh, second. I like that. That's going to work real good. Y'all see that? It says bill. Reminds me to pay a bill tonight. So anyhow, uh, these are thinner. Because I took my caliper and I checked them. Like I said, those are .045. So they were in between. The Milwaukee ones were in between um, the 16th and the 32nd. So... We'll give these a uh, a whirl because I could I could see that I was going to be using this thing quite a lot, and so I went ahead and got some got some ordered in. We're gonna go out here and feed the dogs real quick and uh, get that. So did y'all know that you can get all that stuff on e on uh, Amazon? Cutting discs, grinding rocks, uh, chain everything, man. In a lot of people say, man, it's too high. Well, you just got to shop around. I mean, some of it, you check the prices on it. But most of the time, it's usually always less. And uh, you can usually get it pretty quick, too. So I do a lot of my stuff um, comes from uh, comes from Amazon, man. It's been a, uh, I've used it, used it for years and years and years. And uh, I've had several people ask me about the chainsaw caps, the gas oil caps. They're actually on Amazon. They are heck to find, but I have them in my Amazon link down below. You can uh, find them right there, man. I forget what they are. They're very inexpensive to get them. They ship them really, really fast. So if any of y'all are after those flip up gas and oil caps like what you've seen in some of my videos, they're right there. So let's go feed the dogs.